This is section 1.4. We're learning in this section all about inconsistent systems. If you think back to 1.2, section 1.2, we learned about unique solutions. 1.3, we saw infinitely many solutions. And then 1.4, we're going to see what happens when there's no solution, which is saying there's an inconsistent system. Okay, inconsistent systems are the ones that have no solutions. Okay, there's, there's some good news coming up about this section. With a two by two system, that's gonna happen when you have parallel lines. With a three by three system, that's gonna happen when you have parallel planes. Now, technically, you could also have parallel lines with a three by, system as, three, by three system as well. The good news is these are relatively easy to spot. Okay, keep in mind what we're going for here. We have an inconsistent system. That means it's not gonna work. There's no way that this system would have a solution. When doing Gauss-Jordan elimination, we're gonna get a row of all zeros except for the last number. That's how we're gonna know it's an inconsistent system. For example, if you look at the first row, one, zero, two, zero, second row zero, 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 0001 and the third row all zeros remember this is an augmented matrix so i'm supposed to be able to translate this back into equations now the first row looks completely normal i could write out x1 plus 2 x2 is equal to 0 but i mean 2x3 excuse me is equal to 0 but look at that second row that second row is trying to tell me that 0x1 plus 0x2 plus 0x3 is equal to 1. Well, 0 can't be 1, so that system can't work. It can't have a solution. It's going to be inconsistent. So, see, I told you those were easy to spot. Let's look at another one. Solve this system. I have x1 plus 2x2 is equal to 4, and then x1 plus 2x2 is equal to 3. Hopefully you can look at that and say, hey, there's no way that x1 plus 2x2 could be both 4 and 3 at the same time. Okay, but here's what's going to happen if you put that into an augmented matrix and go about solving it. Okay, across the top, of course, I'd have 1, 2, 4. Second row would be 1, 2, 3. Then if I try to get rid of the 1 in the bottom row by doing row 2 minus row 1, What's going to happen is that I'm going to, I'm going to do 1 minus 1, 2 minus 2, and then 3 minus 4. So across the bottom row, I'm getting 0, 0, negative 1. Is there any way that 0 could be equal to negative 1? No. Okay, so when you get something crazy like that, 0 is equal to negative 1, that means it's an inconsistent system. Okay. Let's look at a problem that's a little bit bigger. That was a 2 by 2. We kind of knew going in that uh, it was inconsistent. Let's look at one that uh, won't be quite as easy to spot. So with, uh, with an inconsistent system that's in 2 by 2, we would have parallel lines. But let's check this one out. We have x1 minus 2x2 plus 3x3 is equal to 5. 2x1 minus 4x2 plus 6x3 is equal to 13. 3x1 minus 6x2 plus 9x3 is equal to 19. Okay, maybe you can look at that and tell that it's inconsistent. Um, maybe you can't. Most of the time you won't be able to. All right, but for this one, let's go ahead and pop it into the augmented matrix. 1, negative 2, 3, 5. Second row, 2, negative 4, 6, 13. Third row, 3, negative 6, 9, 19. Okay, let's just go about Gauss-Jordan elimination like normal. Let's get the 2 and the 3 gone. So I need the 2 gone first of all. So I do row 2 minus 2 row 1. Look what happens when you do row 2 minus 2 row 1. You get 0, 0, 0, 3. Should I go any farther? Is there any way that 0 could be equal to 3? No, so that system's going to be inconsistent. Okay, it's not going to have a solution. What they're saying is that for this system to have a solution, 
zero would have to be equal to three. Well, if zero is equal to three, then everything as we know it falls down. Okay, so that was section 1.4. Relatively short section, because like I said, it's pretty easy to spot what's going to be going on. Um, sometimes you ha might have to reduce it a little bit more than the examples that we looked at, but the whole point of it is you're going to get that row of all zeros except for the very last number. So go ahead and practice with 1.4 a little bit, and I think you'll see that the inconsistent systems are probably the easiest ones we've done yet.